Tonight, the Franklin County Auditor's Office is looking into a property manager who's accused of being a slumlord by many of his tenants. Across the county, he has more than 100 rental homes and nearly a dozen open investigations into alleged housing violations. NBC4's Danielle Vittable is joining us from the newsroom right now, and she broke this story last night. And because of that story, Danielle, now the Auditor's Office is looking into this. That's right, Colleen. They told me that after seeing that a family was without heat for a week and there were multiple housing violations against the property manager, that they wanted to step in and check out his business practices. Now they're looking into the properties associated with his name. 239. That's how many housing violations Columbus City Code Enforcement found against Jeff Islandfield at the houses he has been managing under five different property names since 2011. 11 of those violations are still active. I think this is unfair for them to treat someone like that. Vicki Myers is living in one of the properties with multiple violations found by code enforcement, ranging from a leaking sink to mice infestation. I'm scared to be here. She showed us around her home. Mouse traps and droppings are throughout the house. She says she has killed at least 14. One day I opened the refrigerator, they, one was in the refrigerator. She says Islandfield sought her out after she qualified for Section 8 housing assistance. When I got my certificate to look for a place, he found me. I didn't know anything about this place. We first told you Tuesday night that a family living in one of his properties, also with Section 8, has been without heat for a week. Since our story aired, the heat has now been fixed. However, Island Field is now facing an investigation from the Franklin County Auditor's Office. Situations like this are concerning uh, across the county. According to the auditor's website, we found that there was a change of entities associated with Island Field several times. Making it a little more confusing, a little more difficult for people to be able to follow any trends or who owns what property and when. It's a loophole that the auditor wants to fix since it's also done at no cost. And once again, we went to Island Field's home to get his side of what's going on. But he didn't come to the door or answer my call. But for Myers, she hopes her issues will be fixed soon. I am very glad that there's something being taken care of because at first I felt like nobody cared. The auditor's office called me before the end of business day and said that Island Field was in the process of transferring more than 100 properties into someone else's name. Under the rental registry, if a management change is not reported to the auditor, the LLC owner would face a fine of $150 for each home. And Island Field finally did reach back out to me via text and said he couldn't make a statement. Local for you, Danielle Vittable, NBC4.